Welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals course. In this walkthrough, we're going to learn how to create a VM using Azure CLI, which is Azure Command Line Interface. And use CLI to create the resource group and the virtual machine and execute commands in the Azure Cloud Shell as well. So to access the Azure Cloud Shell or Azure CLI in the portal, you just need to go to the Azure portal. On the top of the right hand corner, you can find there is a Cloud Shell. So once you click on the Cloud Shell, it opens up on the bottom of your browser itself. You can access this via your Azure mobile app or you can access this uh, via your desktop or a tablet as well. So there are two options. One is PowerShell and another one is Bash. In this version, we are going to use Bash. That's that's where we can execute the Cloud Shell. Uh, that's where we would be able to execute the CLI commands. So first thing is we need to ensure that the Bash, Bash shells run successfully. So if you are running for the first time, what's going to happen is it is going to create a storage account. So we have done it a couple of times. That's why it is not created a storage account. So I'm going to execute a command to create a resource group. The command is AZ group create. You give a name and name of the resource group I've given is my resource group CLI, which is my RG CLI. And uh, looks like the command is executed. I'm refreshing to see if it is showing in the portal. Maybe it takes a couple of seconds extra to show up in the portal. But in the bash script, it shows that it is being executed successfully. So let's refresh and wait for some time. Yeah, looks like my resource group is created and the location is East US. Uh, in the second command, what we are going to do is I'm going to list, which is AZ group list output table. So that is going to display all the resource group within my subscription in a table format. I can see that within the command line interface itself, I can see that uh, my RGCLI resource group is created under location East US and it's successful. The next command, what I'm going to run is to create a virtual machine inside this particular subscription and this resource group. So I'm going to copy and paste the command to execute and create a new VM. And those who are listening and if you're wondering, you want to do the same thing, I will make sure to put all these details in my blog in a step-by-step -step article. So if you wish to try it out yourself, you can go through this step-by-step -step document to execute these commands by yourself and try it out. So the best place to start your learning is to create a free Azure subscription. And you have learned how to create a free Azure subscription. If not, please go and check the module, which I specifically talk about Azure subscription and within that one topic is how to create a free Azure subscription. So create a free Azure subscription. It gives you around 250 US dollars, which is plenty enough to try out all the exercises which I talked about or showing to you already. But one more thing for Azure fundamentals, if you are a sales professional and you are not trying to pursue your career into advanced Azure technologies, you don't have to try these out. Just by looking at this walkthrough, you will get a fair bit of an idea about how these things function. And that sort of a knowledge is more than enough for you to sit for the exam. You just need a conceptual level of knowledge and an understanding about how these things relate to. When you talk about Cloud Shell, you know that it's a Cloud Shell available within the Azure portal. So it looks like our Command is being executed successfully. I can already see that there are few resources created within the resource group. There is a virtual machine there. I can see a disk. I can see a network security group, etc. So all of this part is being done. Now, 
next thing what I can do is I can go back to the Azure portal and execute the command to see if this virtual machine is running or not, things like that. Now I'm going to retrieve the information about the virtual machine we provisioned, including the name, resource group, location, and status. And the main important thing is status. So in the status, we are trying to find out if the VM is running or not. So if it is stopped, that means that the VM is stopped. So the next command which I'm going to execute is to stop the virtual machine from running. So that is going to probably take some time because in the backend, in the backend, it is already in talk with the Azure Resource Manager and the Azure Resource Manager is talking with the Azure Service Fabric and it is making all the necessary changes to deallocate or stop the VM from accessing. Now that our VM is stopped, now let's run one more command to check the status of the VM. In this instance, we're going to find out if the status of the VM is being stopped compared to before it was running. So it is successfully completed. So I hope the information provided was useful. Thank you. Congratulations. Now you have learned how to deploy a VM using Azure portal. You know how to deploy a VM using Azure ARM template. Just now you learned about how to deploy a VM using Azure CLI. Just before you learned about how to deploy a VM using Azure PowerShell as well. This is amazing. As always, after the experiment, I'm going to remove or delete all the resources I just created to avoid additional cost. So the new resource group is my RGCLI. I'm going to go inside that resource group and delete the resource group. This is going to ask for the name of the resource group. I'm going to select the name, paste that over here, and delete. While that is happening, let's go and check what we have learned today. So what we have learned is how to use Azure CLI commands. Instead of using CLI locally, we used Azure Cloud Shell to run those Azure CLI commands. And if we have done another video talking about Azure Advisor recommendation. So we skip that part. In the next video, we're going to go through module two review questions. So this is the best way to test and validate your skills and the learnings you have done on the previous module. So definitely recommend you guys to go through that. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.